hello guys and we're here again for another video we're checking on some list for standard with the lost covers of Ixalan and this would mean that uh, we just have to do some slight adjustments on this feature deck which is the Esper control I found this list uh, from the recent uh, MTG uh, tournaments posted at the MTG top 8 and again this uh, archetype was also seen in my local game stores uh, weekly Saturday standard and so I think this would uh, benefit a bit in the Lost Covers of Excellent set because of some minor but uh, I think minor but relevant updates in this build so we're just going to do again a quick rundown of the main deck so these are the useful suspects we have a lot of instants here the planeswalkers would only be the wandering emperor and the sweep would consist of sunfall and wear farewell and uh, our only creature as I mentioned i think i would have this one as a relevant creature in the deck is hellbreaker horror because of its ability that can also protect itself and uh, given that it can be countered it's also relevant in other control matchups and in particularly also with the Mondo Blue uh, Tempo deck. So with this uh, setup, we have one artifact that is the only creature and the artifact here is the Celestus. 24 instants including some new cards here, 27 lands still and uh, 4 planeswalkers and 3 sorceries. So now the lineup of the deck as we'd expect for a control setup consisting of spot removals and color spells so we have three copies of cut down for the first uh, start of the three of the one mana cost we also added two copies of single paint as a good color spell early on or in also in the late game given that you would have a lot of lands to do for the paying for the x as you can have your opponent cannot pay for that mana so it would also excel that uh, spell countered we also have three copies of Essence Cutter, so this is one of the solid counter spells as we would still expect a lot of uh, creatures in this metagame past the Lost Covers of Excellent. We have the new card Get Lost, that is two copies. This would also have to be a spot removal for white, which can also deal with uh, not only creature but also enchantment and planeswalker. And also two copies of Go for the Troll to kill of non artifact creatures. A copy of Negate for non-creature spells, a solid counter also. Two copies of Soldier's Edict that can have you the option to sacrifice an untoken creature, a token creature, or a planeswalker. Then we have this uh, new card, Confounding Riddle. This is two copies in the deck, which I think would also have the value of uh, giving you an impulse effect by looking at the top four cards of library and then putting one of them in your hand. And the rest in your graveyard, which also goes well with sort of a delve uh, setup, and also a good convolute uh, counter spell by countering target spell unless it's controller pays four. With that setup, we also have three copies of Quick Study. So this is now the new divination of the card because you can cast this one at instant speed by drawing you through cards and uh, refilling basically some of your hand with your spot removals or other counter spells. Then we have, of course, the generic four copies of Memory Deluge. Because of its ability that it won't look for the top four cards because of the mana spent. But the good thing in the late game is that you can flash back this one for seven by basically looking at the top seven cards of library and then choosing two of them in your hand as your uh, relevant card draw if needed. And for the Planeswalker, this is the Wandering Emperor as your good setup in this deck because its ability that can have a uh, various uh, kinds of uh, support even that you are a control deck you can flash this in to excel a target tap creature and also gain two life which is relevant in the aggro matchup you can also create two two white samurai creature tokens that will also become your army against uh, mid-range and other control and just the bonus is that you can just put up some counter if any combat tricks you that you want to give your target creature pain first strike into some counter so that with the setup your sorcery sweep are still given with a sunfall because you can excel extra creatures and create you an incubate like, x where the incubator is that you can pay two to flip this one into a creature prediction and the number of x would depend on the number of creatures that was exiled and also for any reset button if needed against maybe for other matchups that could involve artifacts enchantments and graveyards you can use uh, very well to deal with that one and that uh, setup 
uh, before we go for the lands is to check on why Celestus is included here and still a relevant card in this deck. Uh, uh, list for main uh, having you to option to uh, draw a card and uh, gain line one life because of you can just pay three tap to have a knight becomes day and it becomes night but the only drawback is that you can activate only a sorcery but uh, as you activate this one or have this one triggers you can gain one life and draw a card and score a card so that is the only artifact in the deck but can also get you to ramp to adding one mana of any color up to your uh, uh, five mana spell or for example or any uh, setup or in you can just hold five mana to quick study in a turn while also holding a negate or a spot removal and go for the throat against your opponent's creatures now for the lands i uh, really want to highlight here the new card that was added in the deck in the form of this new uh, Manlands that is Resist Anchorage for blue white, in which you can activate this one to become a 2 3 white and blue bird creature token with flying. Whenever it attacks, you can also create a map token. We also have the new Restless Reef. This is still a foreign version, but this ability that it can uh, fix uh, for blue and black and can also uh, become a 4 4 shark creature with that touch. As it attacks, target player will build uh, 4. Uh, cards from the top of the library so this is also a good attacker also and if there are instances that you would want to self mill you can still have this one uh, ability target yourself as your target player so with that setup even though these are just one of the deck which we can still do some adjustments later on this would still mean that the esper control deck would have more uh, ways to win aside from only having to just rely on the Wandering Emperor and the Hullbaker Horror as their own mid condition. But overall, with the last of the combination of these three color lands, which uh, we can see here, we also included Field of Ruin, which can deal with other man lands of your opponent. But the important thing is that you can still have your basic lands to search for with a copy of an island, and this one of plains, and a swamp in the last part. But overall, you would still have to get a good uh, dual lance fix in this deck as you can cater the Esper colors and uh, would not avoid any color screw in the mid game or up to the late game but overall I think this would be the look of the Esper control deck we might see some adjustments as for maybe for the build to have to rely on the Lost Covers of Excellence uh, Descent Mechanic or Artifact Based Deck but we'll have that other discussion in another video. So overall, the mana value is 2.97 which is very much good way to fix with a lot of land still which you just play a land and then uh, wait for your opponent and respond to their uh, play or spell. The core distribution is pretty much even with uh, 18 for blue, 17 for black and white but the blue pips are mostly the highest 21 with the white is 16 and black is 7 and these are the tokens i mentioned these are the summary tokens from the wonder emperor patient might from the murex and also incubator token from sunfall which can turn into a prediction that is equal to the exile features or its power and toughness so i guess that's pretty much it for this deck this per control set up for lost cover so excellent standard if you're yet familiar with this or have played this one in the current uh, format, just let me know in the comments below so we can have another discussion as to what your experience of this deck and what would be your suggestions for these new cards that we have included in this uh, deck tech uh, video. Again guys, thank you for checking this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe and see you on the next video.